Hi, I'm Senator Chris Coons. Like many Delaware parents, I was somewhat surprised last week when my kids came home from school asking questions about an African warlord named Joseph Kony and his army of child soldiers. They and their friends had seen a 30-minute video from a group called Invisible Children designed to bring global pressure on Kony and see him brought to justice. Among my responsibilities in the Senate is chairing the Foreign Relations Subcommittee on African Affairs, which makes Joseph Kony and the Lord's Resistance Army one of many situations I've been following closely. It's been decades since we've seen such intense focus from young Americans on a humanitarian situation in Africa, and I have to say at the outset, it's terrific and refreshing. This is an important moment, and we have to work together to capture it. The question is, what do we do with this energy? How do we make sure it's constructive and helps make a difference in Central Africa? Without a doubt, Joseph Kony is a terrible man. For 25 years, Kony, his top lieutenants, and their Lord's Resistance Army have burned a path of destruction through Uganda and its neighboring countries, recruiting and brainwashing young boys to take up arms against their communities, their neighbors, and their families. Young girls have been turned into sex slaves and children forced to kill their own parents. We in the U.S. have a great deal of power, military, diplomatic, and developmental, that we use around the world for many different reasons. The Coney 2012 campaign urges that we bring that power to bear on a simple and straightforward humanitarian challenge, helping end the crimes of the Lord's Resistance Army, capture Joseph Coney, and respond to the ongoing humanitarian crisis they've caused. The Great Lakes region of Africa is very big, very poor, very rugged, and largely remote. It lacks effective central governments and is a place where bad things have happened and continue to happen without the influence of the LRA, and for many complex reasons. The solution is not for the United States to impose its presence unilaterally in the region, but instead to support African solutions to this and many other regional problems. Ugandan, Sudanese, and Congolese troops can and should protect their own people and continue to lead the effort to capture Kony with our active help and support and African militaries are actively leading and partnering with us in the recovery effort for LRA orphans and distressed communities. The U.S. has had a role in this effort for nearly two decades, providing humanitarian assistance and support for reconciliation and community development initiatives. Our initial goal was to help these war-torn communities to rebuild. The U.S. has increased its engagement in recent years as the LRA's presence has expanded regionally. The current U.S. strategy to respond to the LRA includes humanitarian assistance for affected areas and populations throughout Central Africa. In 2010, Congress passed a bill that declared it was the policy of the United States to work with regional governments towards a comprehensive and lasting resolution of the conflict in northern Uganda and neighboring countries. It included a call for efforts to protect civilians and capture Kony and other LRA top commanders. Authorized by Congress last October, President Obama took decisive action and deployed approximately 100 military advisors to help regional military forces remove Joseph Kony from the battlefield to capture or kill him. To be clear, U.S. forces are not directly engaging the LRA. They're advising and supporting regional forces in their ongoing hunt for Joseph Kony and his top lieutenants. It's important that regional African forces take the lead here in part so they're better equipped to prevent future monsters like Joseph Kony from committing these kinds of crimes against humanity. The worst of the crimes the LRA's committed, turning young boys into violent soldiers, using sexual violence as a tool of war, and randomly killing innocent civilians, happen too frequently in places like the Democratic Republic of Congo, Sudan, and other countries in this region. The LRA is not alone in using these tactics and should not be alone in receiving our focus. The entire region needs and deserves our engagement, and it needs yours. I want you to know that here in Congress, bringing Joseph Kony and his lieutenants to justice has had and will continue to have broad bipartisan support, Republicans and Democrats in the House and the Senate, for many years. If you take away nothing else from this video, please know this. You have our attention, our support, and our partnership in continuing to work to address this difficult humanitarian situation. For more information, I hope you'll check out my website, coons.senate.gov slash Kony, K-O-N-Y, in the coming weeks and months for ways you can stay involved and continue to make a difference. Thanks for your interest and for your support.